Yes. So now we have personal variety for indolence. The way Dr. Lenny Williams will read or speak will be different from the way Shabola Mudu will read or speak. That's idiolate. Then this is letter variation will affect the production of speech sound or the way we speak sound. So we cannot achieve that there is a standard. Likewise, the grammar of English, uh, my professor was talking about what well, formerly and what us. We are aspiring to be using standard English, both in chronology, in all other aspects of linguistics, both in chronology, grammar, uh, semantics, and all that. That is why we have varieties of language. But we must, because we are using British standards, we must use certain parameters to meet all of the L1 users of the language. Some people use uh, television broadcast to as a measure for Nigerian standards English uh, television. But it is expected that when you are working in the press, you must aspire to use the standard that if it's not 100% uh, equivalent to the British standard, it must be very near. I think I have answered that. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. Anyone have a question? Yes. Thank you, my Thank you. Well, this is just for the house fellows. Nandu has said that this is not an area she's ordinarily in, but of course, we are prepared as to to teach undergraduates any course, being masters and PhD holder in the discipline. So, on that issue about the intersection of competence and performance, and that is in virtually all disciplines. With respect to not meeting up with the received pronunciation, what problem do we think is attributed competence and performance aspect? With respect to technology of English, what do we think are responsible for the lack of the kind of performance we expect? That's why the comments. People know that yes, this sound is as well as so on. But by the time we want to pronounce them as your master of English now. The competence would fall short of, and the performance fall short of the competence. So, so, what do we think is responsible for that? From our understanding of. You are we are trying, trying as second language users, I mean, as L2 users of English, we are trying to transfer more our mother tongue knowledge to the use of English. And that is why we are not as in the position of having this time and being able to reach 100% level of using the actual British standard or the L1 standard of English uh, spoken I mean, for, for knowledge. So, are, are you satisfied at all? No, not, not so satisfied. Well, this is a okay. Okay, now, why is it that um, I'll continue to say, for example, okay. uh, <coughs> 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 why, for example, exactly. would I say Tilly? Instead of three. Why would I say three instead of three? When you say interpret, you are bringing, you are bringing sociological, social linguistic problems. But I want you to sound like a phonologist or a phonetician. What are phonological challenges that are there? Not social linguistic factors. Uh, for the lack of Jika's, uh, challenges is because, as you mentioned, that it's based on, uh, on our mother tongue. Oh, no, Oga has, explain... Oga, Oga has helped to give a hint. Just build on what Oga said. Oga. English is a stress la uh, straight language. Why we buy it? It's is a tonal language. For instance, bread. So if, if, I'm bread or if, if you want to look like a lack of bread, 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 bread. I 
that that that's a perception, but that's but that is not even that is not even as pronounced as a problem. That's more of a problem of incompetence and ignorance from elderly people. But even people who know the rule, as as we say, competence, who know the rule, they know that yes, this is easy, exactly. right? But they cannot perform. That's a function of consonantal variation. Problematic consonants are those that are in English that are not in our language. In Yoruba, you don't have tick. You don't have tick. You don't have the church here. You don't have Okay? The variants we have are D, T, and so on. Which we will naturally vocalize by the time we are pronouncing it. Like we said, this is a workshop for everybody. So, because that is not in the language, even when you know it, you will just say T for T you know? So, how do we resolve it? Consciousness will help us. And of course, by the time we get there, we learn to vocalize it very consciously, slowly. Remember a colleague we had before he moved to another university? Every time he wanted to take a class, he would just come and tell us that, I forgot the whole was here. It will help me see Paris. <laughs> How do I solve that problem? So you just say, anytime you get to where you are supposed to go now, eh, you will use, you will say fofo, and I give fofo, instead of gold gold. So we will say, okay, fine, when you get there, just slowly vocalize it. Okay? Ah, what can we do like to buy? You are aware. Just say gold food. Just take your time. Only four. <laughs> so, 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 the difference is in the consonants we have. And of course, the unavailability in our language will definitely bring that gap. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. The function of competence is I know it, I know the rule, but performance is it is not even in my tongue, naturally. My tongue is not wired for it, so I might make such mistakes. So, as language teachers, we will be conscious to be sure that we marry competence yes, and performance. Well, this is practical. Thank you. 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 Thank that are not in Yoruba pronunciation. That is not prophecy. Yes. But we need to, can we, I'm just asking that question, can we add such pronunciation or let me use the vowel so that individual students will be able to identify the real pronunciation of that vowel. Now, so that they will be able to implement to pronounce the real pronunciation. Like I said, market, that is normal pronunciation. But everybody say market. Market. Now, is everybody that knew that market is the real pronunciation? But for we to now shorten the pronunciation, so that for we to get the real, what can we use to solve the problem? We know that there is problem, bro. How can we solve the problem? I think last time is the proper position to solve problems. I really enjoyed this workshop. Thank you, Mary. very happy. Yeah? So that's our question, sir. We have a question. We should start from an individual. Uh, from the beginning. Okay, for instance, for instance, I want to say, I want to relate an issue to that. I wanted to collect, I paid for transport fare. As a prayer, let me have a balance. They are used to change. Let me change it. Give me a change. But when we start, I say balance, because as a specialist, I cannot be saying, I want to do that by changing. So we start from individual, then uh, through lecture like this, through lectures, seminars, and uh, presentations as well. So people will start changing and there will be awareness for how to. Uh, now we have sensitized some people to the awareness that even the spoken language needs to be taught and needs to be learned and we used to use appropriate pronunciation, not just only other aspects that we focus on, like grammar, semantics, and others. Phonology aspect also is very, very important. 
it affects meanings and we use it in oral presentation in seminars, especially in the university environment. The registrar came here, he didn't come, he didn't come here to read the memo. He spoke, and we and the, uh, the representative of the vice chancellor he has to give some, I mean, present something to us that will make us to feel happy and that we are in, in, the, in the workshop, in the medium workshop. So if they are saying, they are saying, instead of this, they are saying this. Is a, the plural, the same, I mean, the plural, the singular. If instead of saying this, and I say this, it has affected the meaning. So we can start from individual and uh, from books, from journal articles that we write on the internet, that we write and publish. People can read us, they can uh, get, I mean, they gain experience from our uh, works as uh, teachers of English, learners of English. We should begin to be using their profit, but not minding what the society wants. They are not going to look at markets. Start using it. If they start using it, if he is using it, so everybody, one day we will get the, to achieve the, I mean, the perfect and standard rules. Was where the first fish? That's all, sir. Where is the first fish? By his mother's basement. By his mother's basement. His mother's basement was complement a mbata and a LG. LGC, 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 I mean. The first is What's your view? The second one, the old man in the was his mother's younger brother. The old man who received him was his mother's younger brother, who was now eldest surviving member of the other family. How many crosses do you have here? You have family that is across this year. Yeah. The old man who received him was his mother's younger brother, who was now a surviving mother of that family. You have a chance of closing. The old man who received him was his mother's younger brother. The old man who received him was his mother's younger brother. Yes. Yeah, brother said it. The, 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 the main clause, the main clause, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah. you know what you have there is what we call uh, a minute clause, all right? It is the first sentence, let's, let's first identify how many clauses are there, the main clause was made. The main clause is, the old man was his mother's younger brother, which old man? I will be found out to Who received him? That was the word that I received for. That's the best way I thought of it. Okay? Was, that's why the main clause comes from that said is the old man was his mother's younger brother. Who received him is telling us more about the old man as a clause. That's why the best clause. Okay? In this kind of clause, we call it rank city. You know, we know that because we are not going to stand in the name. But as we need to know that at some level, we don't know that. Now, who was now a dead surviving member of that family? That is another point of scope. Giving us additional information about that same person. Okay? So, this kind of situation, we call it a what? A what kind of sentence do you have for that? It's a complex sentence. Uh, last, last 
The first one is the old man. The old man can be the subject, 